Mike Espy knows the political trail, certainly the one that winds through Mississippi in this special Senate election. He is a Democrat trying to land a seat held by Republicans since the last Democrat held it. That was James Eastland, whose term ended in 1978. I stand with them. And I Mike Espy is making his latest run for statewide office, a quest for a U.S. Senate seat. He's weaving between campaign stops and television appearances. The first thing I'm going to do uh, when I get elected, really, is to uh, fashion some sort of economic development bill for the state of Mississippi. And uh, I'm doing that because I've done it before. Uh, when I was uh, 30 years old and a freshman in the U.S. House of Representatives, my first bill was an economic development bill. The former congressman held that office until moving to the Clinton cabinet in the early 90s. He served as Secretary of Agriculture, but on the campaign trail, he says his biggest campaign concerns deal more with medical care or a lack of. Improving health care and access to health care in the state of Mississippi. We have all, a lot of these rural hospitals are closing for lack of, for lack of um, uh, Medicaid reimbursements. We have a lot of students, you know, that maybe don't graduate, that just need a little push. Uh, the issue might be uh, student debt or no job in the future. SB says he likely would not have voted to approve Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh, but goes on to point out that he doesn't think that is a centrist fact in this election. I think this election is going to stand on its own. The people know what's what's at stake, and they know uh, they know that uh, we got a real shot to win. And irrespective of whether the justice would have been confirmed or not, I, I don't see that as a market. Uh, issue in my race. Espy stepped down from Secretary of Agriculture in the 90s when he was indicted by the federal government on 30 counts of receiving improper gifts while in office. He was acquitted on all counts. I said I was not guilty. I was proven not guilty. I never buckled. I faced my bully. And I want to let all Mississippians know, when you have a bully, if they talk about you and you know it's not true, when they talk about our state and they know it's not true, if it's true, we're resolved. If it's not true, stand up, face that bully like I did, and beat that bully like I beat mine. Thank you. Espy is an attorney himself and has represented several counties as their attorney since stepping out of the political spotlight in the 90s. For Commitment 2018, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.